Hey guys, welcome back to Juno New Origins. My name is Twitch here. We are in a full automation playthrough right now. One of the best features in this game is you get to build your own rockets, but over here we got ourselves a nice little programming interface that we get to mess around with and get uh, craft launching all under the power of automation. We're currently in a career mode. This means we have a, current, a couple of objectives that we're trying to meet right now, and one of them is to go sideways. We need to launch a new craft. We need to start grounded at the village and crash at least 30 kilometers away from the village now i'm fairly sure i know how to complete this so we're going to accept that i'm also with our new power of being able to accept more than drop one job going to uh, take this mission on though i don't think we'll be able to do this at the same time this requires us to explode above 10 kilometers above uh, ground level uh, and then with a certain amount of explosion power must be completed within 30 days is this an infinite time this is an infinite time so it looks like we're going to start the fireworks first let's go Go and do that shall we now of course trying to move a, a craft around with the autopilot is a rather intricate task to perform here man the intricate task is a bit of a tongue twister for me it turns out uh, and we can start to see that we're already getting quite the long string of blocks here and it's becoming a little bit difficult and this is just to launch a craft and explode it in the air which we we know how to do but I feel like there is a way that we can uh, streamline this process make it look a little bit nicer if we come over to custom instructions and create a a custom instruction i'm going to create a countdown custom instruction now this is a, an interesting little thing it gives us a little tag here that we get to play with we can add parameters we can add extra text if we want but i'm just going to create this one as it stands right now and i'm just going to rip this whole section off of here uh, and put that into the countdown so this essentially makes us our own little sub program we can come along to the countdown and grab that and then that that will just kind of uh, do almost exactly as you think it would it will play itself through before moving on to the next stages. So that's going to be very handy for keeping everything nice and uh, readable for us. Now, the actual craft, uh, the actual mission we need to undertake here, if we check the career again, I think we're going to do the fireworks first. We need to make sure the explosion has more than 3,162 boom power. Uh, that That is a thing. Let, let's have a look and see how much we've got in stuff. Th this very small boom power, very small boom power. I think we're going to have to go to the tech tree. I think we need a bigger rocket. Uh, it's pro finally time to do this. Uh, catch them all, parachutes. Parachutes are nice. We could start saving tech. Wait, we've only got 40 points. This is not what we're trying to do here. Main stages, interstages, nice. We could be doing with interstages, but what we actually want is rocket engine size, pressure feed, bell nozzles, all the beauties. All the beauties of an advanced space tech are here. I say advanced space tech. It's just some liquid rockets. Five tech points to be spent here, but this should be able this should enable us to lift a little bit more powerful equipment if i take this uh this engine off the bottom and we go ahead and add a new one that was the goblin solid the gnome liquid fuel we could probably pop that there and i should imagine we can now expand this out just a little bit that's quite the uh, the nose cone that we've got there uh, this has enough power to explode but this this is what what this is not what we need to explode this is the payload so we now need to build uh, something underneath here that can lift it up another 10 kilometers. I think, can we just copy that out with the right click? We can, okay, that's good. Let, let's just try that. We're gonna, we're gonna try this. We're gonna pop that down like so. I'm gonna steal the fins. Uh, put them to the bottom and then hopefully this this rocket engine here can handle this. Will it actually be able to? I don't know. Do we Do we have a thrust to weight ratio? Oh, it doesn't quite make it. We're to starting to weight ratio of nine point of zero point nine seven. Uh, but it did say that I've got yeah the ability to scale up my my rocket sizes here. So uh, I mean we're not even at a hundred percent. Let's go eighty percent, and that gives me a starting to weight ratio of two point four. Okay, that's good. So what we need to do now is uh, think about how we're going to make this work on the the autopilots front. We need to fire the engine, we need to wait until we're 10, 10 kilometers up, and then we need to explode. There's a part one. We need to explode part one. And we can use the same technology that we used last time. I've just changed the height of this at this altitude counter here. So we start, we count down, we activate our stage. This is everything to just say put pitch up and carry on going upwards. And then we start counting down to our uh, required altitude. And when that happens, we've set our part to explode there. Okay, that that should be 
hopefully the entire thing are we are we gonna get going straight away this, this is it one or more potential issues have been found would you like to i would like to view the issues what are these issues it costs too much okay i'm not sure how we can do that i'm wondering whether we want to shrink this down is that is that a thing we can do if i pull this off here and shrink it down like so is that better let's now have a look at how much this is going i've forgotten where it tells us how much it cost. not 900 okay that's the part not the not the whole craft, okay. If we Do we have to exit the designer to see how much it costs? 44k, oh man, okay. That's still quite expensive. <laughs> okay, so it turns out if I actually put a solid motor on the bottom first, not only does it cost me less, which is nice, but um, it, it's got more explosive power. So we should be able to shrink this down to there and use that instead, then we'll take get rid of this and then hopefully that will be fine and then oh if i put this here is it going to class this Let, let's try it. we put that on no it's still solid okay that that's good it is this launchable no if anything that's more money oh uh, because the engine is worth so much okay the whole engine costs the majority of the price right Let, let's put that up there yeah suddenly it's only three grand not 30 grand okay Okay, we're going to try it with a solid rocket. We've got a current to weight ratio of 0.7, but we can go up. Yes, okay, this is good. I want at least 0.5. I've got, to, I've got to max it out. This does cost me a little bit of money, but it's not that much. But the question is, the question is, does it have what it takes to perform the flight? We probably need to give this a new name as well. This is definitely um, a different craft here. Does it have the, the text on it? So the label is there, it's just next to impossible to hear. So this is not the sounding off, this is the blasting off, of course. What what, what else would it be? Alright, let, let's give it a go, let's see if we can do the thing. 10k, that, that's all we need, just a small explosion over 10 kilometers. Right, let's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blow up the fireworks to entertain. You told me you were good enough. You told me you had a to weight ratio of 1.5. Okay, there we go. That's that's good. I was worried there for a moment. Uh, but we are flying. How much fuel are we through? We're already through quite a bit of our fuel, but we are traveling up fast and hard. Uh, are we going to be able to get through the 10 kilometers with the fuel that we've got? Of course, we will still continue to travel after our rocket has... Um, has run out of fuel this is how much altitude we have right now you can see it's tracking quite nicely with that one that is a good i think i'm feeling i'm feeling relatively confident about this we're over halfway through our fuel which is a problem well we're coming up to halfway through our fuel which is a, a problem but we're over halfway up to the uh, the desired height right now maybe we could have shrunk this down even more it is a possibility uh indeed we're coming up to eight eight kilometers up and we are only a third off of being all the way through our fuel bam we blew it up and we entertained the neighbors oh, right again well done let's recover that craft and save the flight beautiful beautiful i mean that that was that was nice that was nice now i wonder if we can use so oh what was that that was a rather interesting craft can we now undo back to the original craft yes just just like that. That took a lot of clicking, but we got there. We got there. The sounding off. Beautiful craft. Beautiful craft. Wait, haven't we already done... I just noticed this was in the career mode. Didn't we just do this? I'm fairly sure we just did this. Let's go back. Build. Uh, is, this, is this cost us money for no reason? Contracts accepted. Launch is flying. We're in the right place. But whilst we perform this flight, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that make this possible. That's right, my patrons. Scroll up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation in appreciation for the work that I put forth here. And so it is in honour of you that I say thank you, thank you very, very much and explode this rocket. Okay, you have completed contract fireworks, end flight, recover the craft, save the flight. If you don't need this craft anymore, but not recommend if there is astronauts on board. Yeah, no, just save. Okay, and then career firework. Why is recover revert? Have they have they got the words wrong here? Oh no, this is a different one. This, okay, that that's good. That's good. That last one was the same though. Ten kilometers with uh, three thousand six hundred. Okay, well that. 
that's fine. We've done a mission. That's that's all I need to know. <laughs> okay, as fun as it would be to grind all the fireworks missions, I think we're going to now do a little bit of progression here. We've got to launch a new craft, start at the village, crash 30 kilometers away. That should be... No, oh, no, that's, that's not what I wanted to do. That should be relatively easy. The first thing we're going to do is just, just get rid of... All of this. No, none of this is what I want. So we're going to pop that over there. I'm going to set my pit craft pitch uh, to 85 straight away. Uh, and then we need to, like, think about what we actually want to achieve here. Like, it, do we wait until we're going... Oh, I could just set it to 45. I think what I'm going to do is actually wait for... Uh, let's get rid of that one. I'm going to wait for... 10 seconds and then we're going to set the craft pitch to 45 degrees and that should then get us where we need to be and maybe activate a stage oh not not that long um when hmm, let's let's think let's think Okay, I've done a, a weird little bit on the end here. So we, we, we start off, we do our countdown, we activate our stage. We turn the throttle up to full, we pitch over a little bit. Ten seconds later, we pitch over hard and wait until our altitude is back below, uh, let's say, two kilometers. I feel, I feel a little safer saying two kilometers. We then activate what is going to be our parachute stage. Not that I've ever used a parachute before. Oh, we've, we don't have parachutes. Yeah, we wanted bigger engines that we couldn't afford instead of parachutes. So we'll, we'll leave the programming there. It will be there uh, for the future when when parachutes are a thing. Uh, we've launched five craft. That, that's a nice hype. Uh, when we blast off. Beautiful, beautiful. Should we watch the nav ball? We should be trying to pitch over pretty hard right now. I wish I had left myself some sort of indicator to what I was doing doing here why are we not pitching well something's gone wrong and i've got no debug messages so what we're gonna have to do is end the flight recover the craft and retry undo might have something to do with the fact that we've got zero control surfaces at the back here so i'm going to come into the uh part properties add control surface you've reached your control surface limit unlock more in the tech tree i didn't okay Okay, to save the mission, I've put a liquid gimbling engine on the bottom, which has near enough cost me 20 grand to put on there. 25 grand for this particular one. It's called solid, but I've changed it to liquid, so that that's fine. 30% of the original size. Let's see if this does a better for us. I sure, I sure do hope so. Okay, we're... we're Got the, the Launch 5 crafts again. It turns out every time you revert, you, you get that. That's good. Okay, we have instantly tilted over 5 degrees. That's beautiful. This is what I like to see. I think I would have preferred if I'd locked prograde, actually. Oh, man, it's this is trying hard to reach 45 degrees. There, there's the marker that it has been set. I may have gone a little bit too hard with the uh, with the tilt here, but we can hope that this just, just flies, just flies. Look at that trail going. Okay, that, so the only thing we need to do now is fly sideways, and we, we are building some velocity. Maybe we could do a little bit of a tweak to the system here. Look at these these um, mountains down below us are beautiful. Uh, I always like it when it flies like one thin down and the other two up like that. It kind of uh, makes me think of uh, how I believe a plane works. Ooh, we have completed tier one of Drew distance flying. We've exceeded 10 kilometers. Uh, we're about nine down. I feel like we could have done a lot better. And just with one simple instruction change, uh, I hope to be able to do so. We've got ourselves uh, seven. 17 kilometers it's just it's not we're not going to get very far we're not going to get very far if i had uh, done it oh look at that we have completed uh mac 0.1 okay that that's that's nice that's nice unfortunately all of these are probably going to get redone actually i think i think we might make it i think we might very well make it this is 25 grand just thrown away though so the i think the next tech that we are gonna unlock very much has to be oh we're, we're actually gonna build up a lot of speed for this next little part here um i should i should still have the uh the heading locked to 45 degrees time to touch down no need to survive i mean that's lucky that's like i'm not i'm not envisioning envisioning 
a great deal of survival happening here. We are literally moving at the speed of sound towards quite a pointy looking mountain. These must be quite fresh mountains in geological timescales. And slam. Four parts have been destroyed, but we did well. We, we've completed the contract. We've got 35 grand plus 40. That, that, that's nice. That's nice. I'm just going to save flight and save an exit. All right. Ho hopefully that does what, what I want it to do this time instead of putting me back to the beginning. Okay, I think the last thing for this episode, let's go and uh, launch some more fireworks, shall we? If anything, this one feels easier. 16 kilometers is higher, but we're only taking uh, two thirds of the fuel up to that height. We are, have, of course, got a modified blasting off right here. This is the same craft that we used for this explosion mission last time. And of course, we just need to uh, hit a 16 in there. That's it. That's that's the entire thing we need to change. Save that to craft, launch it, and let's get rolling. Beautiful. Okay, we're back with a few tweaks to the hardware. Mostly it has been expanding the fuel tank at the bottom, but you might be able to see that we've got quite a few engines down there. Four of the solid motors now at this point, uh, which should hopefully uh, push us through the atmosphere fast enough that we can. This might, this might actually be too much. I mean, we're building up a good amount of speed. Whether this is going to cut us through the atmosphere fast enough that we actually get up to 16 kilometers waits to be seen. Much like the moon moons in the background over there two of them that that is quite a fortuitous sight there obviously these are going to be targets later on in the in the series so if you'd like to see that you know subscribe along i'm sure it'll work out fine okay and that worked out well we blew up the flight to entertain the neighbors man that this is this is going to be quite the thing going to orbit should be relatively easy we just go that way right and we, we keep going uh and until we get round in the you know the circle of orbit but getting to another planet that might be a little bit more difficult uh safe flight safe flight thank you very much and with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure later Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time where we're going to spend some tech tree points. I mean, we, we know where we're going to look. Well, before I do anything, we're going to buy ourselves some parachutes. Uh, and I will see you then when we're going to try and make use of that. Bye.